Welcome back to another episode of Solly Face. So far, this game has been actually quite entertaining. I didn't think it was going to be this good. I have to admit, I apologize. I was not familiar with your game once again. I actually really enjoy this game and the story that it's trying to tell. As you can see, there's something a little bit different in the background. I'm trying a green screen. I want you guys to let me know what you think of this green screen. If it looks good, I'll probably end up keeping it. Um, this is a green screen. If you've been here for a while, you've actually known I've used green screen before way back in my older videos. Um, but that was when I had a trash PC and using the, the chroma key to actually make this shit work. Legit made every video rendering a video would push it from one hour to like five or six hours. That's unacceptable. But now I got this fucking NASA PC that I've had. It's not actually a NASA PC. It's been, I've had this for years now, but now that I have this PC, this stronger PC that should be able to handle this. I feel like it's time for me to continue pushing those boundaries and, you know, making things better in terms of making videos. So I hope you guys like this. Please, again, let me know. Uh, also, if you haven't already, like this video and subscribe, hit that red button and Without further ado, let me not waste any more of your time. Let's get into it. The next episode of Sally Face. Enjoy. Okay. So where we left off last, we have to help Larry. Any luck? The teachers all in the lounge are waiting for the right moment to sneak by. But what do I need to But how do, how exactly do I help him sneak by? The teachers are in there. I need to find a way to get their attention without them seeing me. Maybe if I make a lot of noise. Okay. So something out here is going to allow me to I can't see them. They must be hiding. Something out here is going to allow me to make some sort of noise to give bro a distraction. Aha, a ball. You fuck with balls. Okay, so we're going to throw this as hard as we possibly can at this window. Fuck up out of there. Huh? What was that? I don't know. It sounded like it came from outside. I don't see anything. Neither do I. Maybe this is those damn birds again. Okay, wait, is that it? Throwing that tennis ball really distracted the teachers. Oh, okay. That worked. Sneak the fuck in, Larry. Let's get the ship off him. Did you get past? Yeah, good thinking with that distraction, dude. I saw our file. Awesome. Anything to help us? Well, I had to book it, so I didn't get a good look, really. If you can distract the teachers again, maybe I can just take the file. No, nope, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves by stealing the file. All right, you're the boss, Ali. So what should we do? Give me a minute. I'll think of something. Why are you? The tennis ball is perfect for distracting the teachers. Now I have to figure out a way for Larry to quickly get the info from Kim's file. Just do it again. What was that? I don't know. It sounded like it came from outside. I don't see anything. Neither do I. Damn birds again. Here, use Ash's camera to take a picture of the files. Oh, okay, I have to go. I have to go do it again. Wait, did I have to walk away from Larry for, in the first place, or could I have just well, whatever? No time. But a bitch. New dialogue. Nope. And then we just walk back casually, nonchalant. All right, Larry. Get it? Dude, the file is missing. What? How can that be? No one else could have went in there without you seeing them. Let's check your chain, man. I got the picture. Oh, you butt nozzle. Score. Let's take a look at it. Kim Yazzie, born October 12th, 1967. Three far and away. No filled fields. Five, 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 four. Yeah, whatever. I think I know what to do. But Kim has elephantitis. It is not contagious and she is sensitive to it. Make sure the other teachers know. 
tell Kim to stop feeding the birds in the courtyard. Are the teachers getting annoyed? If they get know what to do, I'll meet you back in the lab. You got it, dude. All right, where's the lab? What the fuck? I wonder why we didn't just teleport when we're going the exact same way. We're literally going to the same place. Why did we have to? You get that baloney to oh fuck we gotta I have to go get the baloney. Why did I even come here then? I, I guess I wasn't going to the same place. All right. So I need to go into the cafeteria, right? There's got to be a way for me to get the baloney. You guys are wasting your time on this one. I'm telling you, this is good baloney. Nothing wrong with it. Everything tastes good to you, buddy. She has a point there, Chug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In any event, I hope you're right. Is there some place I can? Is there someone I can talk to to get to? What do you want? Uh, let me get another piece of baloney, Kim. Let's get out of boy. Leave me in peace. Oh, okay, fuck off. I can't do shit. Damn. Okay. Hmm. Why are these open? Okay, whatever. Does it, did I open these? I think I remember opening those on the last episode. That's fine. How do I get myself a piece of baloney? I don't want to skedaddle. I'm trying to get some. Bro, let me get, let me get a piece of baloney, bro. There's got to be a way, no? Is there like a trash can I can dig into to grab a piece of baloney or like what? Ah, oh, this doesn't make any sense. No, we're not going to the courtyard. That's the teacher's lounge. Can't believe Larry was able to get into the principal's office with all the teachers right next door. Can't leave. We need to finish this investigation before lunch is over. Okay, but like, get baloney from Kim. I'm what? I was literally just there. How the fuck? Skedaddle boy, leave me in peace. Do I just keep fucking? I'm literally here in front of Kim right now. I'm in front of her. What do you want me to do? Am I tweaking? I feel like I'm tweaking. I feel like I'm fucking tweaking. There's got to be a way to. How do I get the baloney from Kim? That's like pissing me off. Like I'm getting proper mad. I shouldn't be, but that's what it is. What the fuck, man? What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Okay. All right. In a minute, I'm going to just start cheating. 
I feel like that's the only way, right? Is to cheat. This is a different door, but it's going to lead me to the same place, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm not doing that. Okay. 103 class 104. Miss Packerton's classroom. What's in here? Nothing. There's not a damn thing in here that'll actually help. Aha. Okay. I think it might be time to cheat. I think it might be cheating time. Because I can't get the fucking baloney. How the fuck am I supposed to get the baloney, bro? Can y'all give me a hint? None of y'all can give me a hint? No hints? No hinty? Not a single hint as to how I'm supposed to be able to get this fucking baloney. I'm just supposed to be able to just get this shit magically, like... Like I'm just supposed to be able to do this shit. bird shit about wait tell Kim to stop feeding the birds in courtyard other teachers getting annoyed okay what am fuck am I supposed to do fuck going on why did I do why do I do okay I can't walk that way that's like the exit Dude, this you you see the goal and then like it seems so easy when you read the goal but then when like what the fuck she's just telling me to skedaddle I'm not trying to leave I can't get the shit from Travis and Chug is over there eating that shit like it's like it's like I'm cheating fuck it I don't give a fuck I don't give a fuck no more I don't give a shit I'm, I'm cheating. Oh, okay. Okay. I haven't. Okay. Some bullshit. How the fuck would anybody think to do this shit? All right. So I just quickly had to search that shit up and apparently all you gotta do use this fucking camera to take a picture of the bird. Where the fuck is the bird? Damn. Cool. We got a picture of the bird. We have a picture of the bird, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we have what we need. We know what we do. You know what we do. Uh, it just took a little bit of cheating a little bit of cheating a little bit of cheating I got something for you what's this a photograph of birdie you take picture eh yeah I took it for you this is small thanks for all the hard work you do you're a sweet boy Sally thank you so I was wondering can you tell me where the school buys the baloney from why are you so interested in baloney for oh well uh, my friends and I really like it and want to know where we can get some is local made by Miss Packerton. 100% beef. She brings from farm once a week. Here, I give you some extra meat for bringing Kim nice photograph. Appreciate it, gang. Appreciate it, gang, Kim. Appreciate it. Kim is gang. We have we have officially made a friend with Kim. I appreciate that. I fuck with that. I fuck with her. I fuck with her willingness to give me this baloney. Just because we gave her some just because we gave her a picture of a bird. She could have easily gone outside and done that shit herself, but she gave us a reward for it. That's what's up. Got more baloney. Perfect. Kim said it's made by Miss Backerton. Oh, no way, dude. She lives in the apartments. How could she make her own lunch meats? Oh, yeah. I forgot she lives there. I hardly ever see her. Probably seen her in the building twice since I moved here. 
She tends to return at late hours, so I believe she keeps multiple jobs. Teachers don't get paid as well as you may think, so it's fairly common. However, when Miss Packerton is home, she makes quite a lot of noise. It's very peculiar. So what do we do? Should we ask Packerton about this odd side business of hers, or are you boys going to do your whole detective thing? I don't know. What do you think, Sal? Let's do a little snooping before going to Packerton. I don't like the way this is playing out. Something nefarious is going on. It'd be best to not let Packerton know that we're looking into it. Agreed. Good call, Sally. Alright, why don't you and Larry go check out Miss Packerton's classroom while the teachers are on break? Todd and I will finish testing this baloney. Exactly what I was thinking. Okay, we'll be back. Larry, I need you to be on my lookout. Wait by the door in case anyone comes down here. You got it. Now she keeps her desk drawer locked. Do you remember how to pick the lock like I showed you? Yeah, but there's no keyhole. A combo lock? Shit, dude. How the hell are we going to get that thing open? Let me take a look at it. What? Oh. Oh, that's fucking simple. 3.1. Four. Got it open. Nice one, dude. What's inside? Just a bunch of math papers and hold on, there's a hidden compartment. There's some freaky shit in here. What is it? I'm not sure. Little jars filled with looks like spices, maybe for cooking? Oh no, this bitch is just some devil shit. Why does she have a bird school here? That's kinda creepy. Crystals? They're actually kinda cool. I wonder what pack to use these for. A strange metal object similar to Jim's puzzle box. I'm taking that. It's another one of these metal boxes like the shit. Is it happening again? Yeah. What the fuck is going on? Whoa, 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 what's happening? Are you sure? You just be dehydrated. You didn't eat anything for lunch either. It's done. Huh? It's already over. But never mind. Let's go check in with Todd and Ashley. Wait, I didn't check on what the fucking last thing was. Hey guys, we found some sketchy things in Packerton's desk. How are the tests coming? We're not getting any signs of harmful chemicals or bacteria. However, I think we can all agree there's something peculiar going on here. Whatever it is, let's not mention it to Chuck for now. The poor kid almost had a heart attack when they started serving meat, stopped serving meatloaf. Yeah, Ash is right. Let's keep this under wraps until we know for sure what's going on. Well, I guess we know what we have to do now. Damn, I'm gonna miss the action again. I have to watch Ben until my parents get home. Maybe I can help out after that, though. I need a few minutes to get it ready. That's cool. I have to take care of some first anyway. Okay, let's meet up in Todd's room once everyone's ready. Perfect. Cool. All right, let's go to Todd's room. Why do I have to? What the fuck? What was how the game was? He, I think he was on two, right? Pretty sure he's on two. Yeah. It gets very easy to forget where bro is. So. Are you ready? Ready. Before we get started, you may want to go get your super gear boy just in case. Oh yeah, good thing. I'll be right back. Oh my fucking God. Look. Fetch quest. You couldn't just teleport me. I have to walk up to four, get my shit, come all the way back down to two. Like I'm telling you, this is how you this is how you bloat games 101, bro. You just give people a bunch of fucking fest quests and that allows you to bloat the runtime of the game. This is easily a minute or two that I'm fucking around having to come up here and grab this shit. Look, I got it and now I got to walk right back. Like cringe. Am I gonna that's cringe as fuck? Cool. See now we gotta go to the elevator, wait for that to load, then we gotta press two, wait for that to load. Then we gotta wait for this to load again. Then we gotta go to Todd's place, wait for that to load, and then we gotta walk over here, go into Todd's room, wait for that to load. I just complained a bunch. I know y'all don't care. I was just yapping. Are you ready? Ready. I've tapped into the security cameras and we'll be able to loop footage of the empty hallway until you two get back. Be careful. Where the fuck are we going? Where are we going where you're going to need to hack security cameras? Or we break, we're, we're picking locks. We should go quick before she gets back. 
get the fuck in here. See what the fuck's going on in here. Watch out. Dude, it smells like ass in here. Ass and old feet. Good lord, we were messy. It's a short visit. I can't take that stench for too long. Check out that painting. What if Packerton really does just work on a farm? Oh no, that painting gives me a weird feeling. Like a cold chill. Oh yeah, I feel it too. Let's look around. Oh, this shit look nasty. Miss Packerton do not take care of her bathroom, like at all. That's nasty. It's locked, and there's some weird mechanism on the doorknob. <laughs> the clock hands are stuck at 314. If I try to move them, they just go right back. And it's locked. Okay, there's nowhere to look then. It's a neat old radio, but it won't turn on. It must be broken. There's a big thing at diapers. Do you think Miss Packerton uses them for herself? Probably, dude. Packerton is ancient. Anything strange in the fridge? No, it looks like normal groceries and stuff, but there's a padlock on the freezer. Can you get it open? Yeah, just give me a minute. There's nothing. It's filled with rolls of bologna, along with some frozen vegetables and other various food. Nothing out of place, really. Got it. What's in this freezer? All right, let's open it up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she tweaking. Yeah, tweak, tweak. Let me go ahead and, and get that as a screenshot, but also tweaking. I knew it. Tweaking. She a tweaker. It is goats. I fucking caught that shit, man. Also gross. I feel like it can't be that simple. Let's see if we can get into those bedrooms. All right. Yo. Yo, y'all should probably clean the blood stain that y'all just left on the floor. Yo. Yo. Yo, we not gonna clean that? This is a bizarre lock, dude. I'm not sure if I can pick it, but I'll keep trying. Do I just wait for him to pick this shit or? Oh shit. Um, hi little buddy. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. That's about what I expected. What in the fuck was that? A uh, ghost goat, apparently. That probably shouldn't be surprising to me at this point, but I definitely did not see that coming. Wait, I can do it again? Why? Hey there, Mr. Goat. Bah, 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 bah. Okay. I don't think that does anything. Bro, do you have... What the fuck? Bro, did you get this shit open? No, you did not. Okay. What the fuck else is there to look at? Do I just talk to the goat again? I feel like I just talked to the goat again. If it keeps allowing me to press R. Hey there, Mr. Goat. I 
I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I can't. I couldn't tell you if I wanted to. What the fuck? Okay. Wait, what? What? Okay, hold on. So this, this is a new puzzle. What the fuck? Okay. Bro, there's way too many combinations for me to be trying to do this. Wait, okay, hold on. Check the radio, the radio. 102.5, Okay, so 10.25, 10.47, and 10.59. Let's remember that. 893 is in the real time. So 10 25. Nope. Okay. What about 10 49? Nope. And then 10 50. 10 50? Was it 10 59? I forgot. I forgore. Yeah, it's 1059. That didn't do anything. So none of these 1047. Ah, 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 ah. it was 1047. No, I didn't do shit. Okay. What other time is real? 937. That's the only other time 937. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. What? Okay. I am confusion. Where can I find? Wait, oh, I'm tweaking. Oh, oh, wait, 1047. That's literally the number I put in. What the fuck? I put in 1047. I put in 1047, hello. Okay. Yeah, 1047. What the fuck? Okay. Wait, what? Anything else in here that I need to be looking at? No. Don't say anything differently. Oh, 
Okay. I am confusion. I am I am highly confusion. Is the radio supposed to is the radio and the door supposed to match? Wait, I can't even change the clock if Okay, that's fine. So the What? Okay. So if I change it to any other station, it's not going to let me change the time, will it? No. Yeah, it gets stuck. But if I change the station to 104.7, then it allows me to actually change the clock hands. But what does it do once you actually change the clock hands? So I go back to 1047. I walk over here. I change the clock. And what am I changing the time to? Now I have to, I have to cheat again. I have to cheat again. This is stupid. This is stupid. That's so fucking dumb. I'm sorry. That's so stupid. That's so fucking dumb. I'm sorry. The the goats baz were apparently the fucking coat. What is happening? There's someone in here. Holy shit. Hello? Um, Mr. Packaging? Hello? I don't think he hears you. You're right. Looks like he's in some kind of vegetative state. This is fucked and definitely where that rancid smell is coming from too. Yuck. Let's get a quick look around and then get out of here. All these papers talk about the death of Mr. Pack. If he's dead, then who's laying in that bed? What I want to know is why the hell there's so many shit filled diapers in here. Like seriously, like what the fuck? I know what you mean. This apartment is making me super nauseous. You don't think she uses it? No, no, never mind. I don't even want to think about that. I think if the mystery ingredient was human shit, Todd would have seen some signs of that in the lab, right? I guess so. Well, honestly, I have no idea. Let's just hurry up in here. This nigga is dead. Young child, please help me. How can you be? Are you dead? I am in between, suffering for what seems like an eternity. Did Miss Packaging do this? We were in love once, or so I thought. Yes, this is her doing. Please, you must help me escape the endless agony. Baloney, I'm afraid I don't know much about that. This room is my prison, my tomb of infinite sorrow. I can never leave this state. How can I help you? You must unplug this horrid machine. But isn't that, wouldn't that, it will end my suffering. It will free me of this torment. Are you sure? Please, child, I beg of you. You must hurry before she returns. Fuck it, pull that shit. Hope that was the right thing to do. You didn't have a choice, man. The poor guy was in so much pain. It's what we wanted. And I guess so, I just... Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, she's back. Quick, find that dresser. That's a funny fucking picture. If we don't make it out alive... I, I love you, dude. Love you too, man. You're the best friend I ever had, you know? Same to you, little bud. Hey, sorry to ruin the moment. What the hell is this place? Actually, you scared the crap out of us. I can see that. <laughs> man, am I glad to see you, Ash? I thought we were done for. Let's check the watch, Benjamin. My dad came home early, so I rolled straight over here. Sorry for you guys giving you guys a scary. Is that Mr. Packerton? Is he? It was him. He's gone now. He's finally at peace. Damn. And please don't tell me this is what's going to the baloney. I hope not. I'm not sure. There's still one room we haven't looked in yet. We need to get in there before we leave. Well, check this out. While we were hiding, I found this key ring under the dresser. One of these keys has to open out of the bedroom. Let's check it out. Anything to get out of this room. We're in. What in the f No, I, I'm not even trolling. I'm not trolling when I tell you I was literally about to say the same shit. I, I didn't, I was saying that before the text box even popped up. That just threw me off. 
Oh my god. Yeah, this this crazy. Now nah, this this wild. This can be good. Another damn combo lock. Oh, this time it's not 3.1415. It's like some kind of slaughter factory in here. This room gives me the creeps, man. Me too, it's major creeps villain here. Wait, what? Two, three, four, five, six. It only goes up to six? Okay, what? If it only goes up one, two, three, four, five. Okay, if it only goes up to if the combination only goes up to six, what the fuck could it be? If I type in four sixes, I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna just cheat again. I'm just gonna cheat again. I don't I don't care. I don't really give a shit. You know what I'm here for? I'm here for story, so I don't really give a damn. I'm just gonna cheat again. I know what the number is, but I need to know what the fuck they were talking about. Oh, I see. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Okay, I see it. I see it. On the on the left hand side, there's dots. One, four. One, three. That's a good picture. I'm going to take that too. We like pictures like that. Fuck with that. Good lord, what am I looking at? We're we're way in over our heads here. We need to get help. There are no bones. What? There aren't any bones in here. It's all just meat. Dude, no, come on. Bro, why are you throwing up on the floor? We have to Ash is right, we should get help. Don't you see there's no one who can help us? Every time something happens here, it's covered up. The cold, Luke, Charlie, Miss Anderson, who knows what else this place has hidden. We can't trust the cops and we can't tell our parents because they'll want to go to the police. They haven't believed anything we've told them about. So what do we do? I don't know, man. Things just keep getting worse. Packages chopping people up and serving them to... Uh, I don't think I'll ever look at bologna the same again. Okay, so we're eating people. We're eating people. We have murder and we have cannibalism. Murder and cannibalism. Murder and cannibalism. Nah, this shit's crazy. This is too much. This shit's just, it's too much. You feel me? It's just, no. No, no, I just, I can't rock with this. I can't rock with this. This game, I just can't rock with it. Well, well, what? You asked why I don't eat the bologna and I told you why. Of all the fantastical stories you like to spin, you're really not gonna tell us what happened next? Why bother? You probably don't believe what I've said up until now anyways, and the story just gets more unbelievable from this point. 
Plus, you're probably going to cut it up to make me sound like a lunatic on TV. Give us the rest of the story and we'll air it in its entirety without cuts, I promise you. That's a lie. I heard you mention Todd Morris's name before we started. Did you visit him? They won't tell me anything here. Yes, we shot a segment on him yesterday. Is he okay? Is he still in the hospital? I'll tell you what. Finish the baloney story and I'll tell you about Todd. Why do we have to finish the baloney story before we left Miss Packerton's room? Before we left Miss Packerton's room, Ash noticed something else. Hey guys, come look at this. What the fuck? There's some kind of trash chute hiding behind that painting. That's weird. This building doesn't have any trash chutes. Doesn't look like it goes outside. There's no light coming in. Be careful, Ash. Wonder where it leads. Oh, of course. Of course. You tell somebody to be careful and they just fall. Ash! Oh, fuck. Ash, are you okay? Oh, no, no, no. This can't be happening. Please let her be okay. We have to find out what I'm going to shimmy down. It's the only way. Dude, no, you're not thinking straight. What if you fall to or land on her? If she's still alive, that could kill her. Okay, yeah, you're right. Let's think. I what is that? I know where it goes. What? How? Never mind. Just go get Todd and meet me in the basement. Just teleport me. Please don't make me walk down. What's doing? What's going on, Sal? What did you see? Is Ashley all right? Everything's going to be okay. Come help me with this. No one has used this apartment in a long time. It's a rough shape, but Addison can't afford the renovation it needs. Just like the fifth floor. This is what you saw in your vision, Sal. It doesn't work exactly like that. It's more like a feeling of heightened intuition. All right, you lead the way. Larry and I will offer support however we can. It's locked. Wait, one of those keys from packages look like the old apartment keys. Try that out. Yeah, I almost forgot about those. Perfect. Huh. There's nothing in here. Give me a minute to look around. Bathroom. Bathroom dirty as hell. Of course, none of these bathrooms are ever just spotless. Plain. I keep my bathroom spotless. What the fuck? There's nothing here. This is an empty ass room. We ain't got to worry about this. Okay, let's go to bedroom two. The carpet is torn up here. It looks like hmm. guys come check this out a trap door what the fuck dude there must be an undocumented sub basement level it's definitely not in any of the blueprints that i've seen perhaps an old dirt cellar or something of the like i had no idea this is here the third key from his package and fits in this door ash must be down there it's the only place that a shoot could lead to dude fuck no 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 ash is dead ash is cooked i'm not going down there Nah, fuck all that. Mm -mm. No. No. Ash is gonna have to bite the dust on this one. She's cooked. She's cooked. Brother, you're cooked. Brother, you're cooked. She's it's over. We're actually going down here. If we die, it's all your fault, Sally. So I just want you to know that. Cause this is crazy. Like I wouldn't go down there at all. May our sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and ever. What in the fuck? Oh, uh, this looks bad. Incredible. This architecture must date back multiple centuries at least. Centuries of blood and demon worship. This is fucking freaky as hell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, which likely means the area is presently vacant and has been for a while. Let's hope that the malevolent history of this place remains in the past. Yeah, well, we need to get through that gate somehow. There appears to be an absence of any obvious mechanisms to move the large gate. It must be built into the walls. It's likely that the apparatus for opening the gate is hidden. B better split up and search the room. Maybe this big ass fucking thing on the bottom not being lined up is what's going to help you find it. What? An old leather bound book with the symbol of a goat's head on the cover. The text is written in another language and the pages smell like rotten flesh. 
This book gives me an oddly strong sensation of deja vu. What? Intriguing, these green lights seem to be a part of a larger system. Once activated, their energy, energy is transferred to the floor below. Additionally, they must be harnessing the same type of energy as the Super Gear Boy emits, since you were able to trigger them with it. What do you think that means? To be honest, I'm not totally sure. This technology isn't like anything I've ever dealt with before. However, it is likely that these things were used for something supernatural, perhaps even to summon the red-eyed demon. It's a good thing the code isn't around anymore, the demon too. After we find Ash, we should smash everything anyways, just in case. Actually, I'd like to study some of these things further. It may be proved useful in some way. Can we go anywhere? No. We've already examined this book. <gasps> What's with all the spikes? Like, dude, you can't turn around without stepping your toe. Shit hurts like hell, too. What's in this book? An old leather bound book. There's a symbol on the cover of a bird within the circle. The text is written in another language, so I can't read it. Blood is splattered on some of the pages and the book is burned across the bottom edge. Touching this makes me feel lightheaded, as if it's producing a strange energy. Dude, those little obelisk things just got bigger. Scope it out. Okay. This is a neat little puzzle they got me doing. Okay. Hmm. Aha, okay. Okay, okay, I get it now. I gotta line them up. That was close. That's very close. Bingo! I'm the goat. Open that fucking gate. Let's get it popping. Holy shit. That one I didn't have to cheat for. I could just... What the fuck, dude? What? Are you trying to give me a heart attack? Let's get the shit out of me. Sorry, I got the gate open for a second, but that switch won't stay down. Todd, can you go stand on this? Larry and I can go find Ash while you make sure we don't get locked in. Sure, I can do that. Brother, you better not get ready. No, but Ash is in there somewhere. So let's go. Be safe, you two. I don't want to lose anyone else down here. What is this fucking dungeon? Looks like there are two ways. We better split up. I was afraid you were going to say that. Why do these things always happen to me? Oh, I'm Todd now. Okay. Or I mean, I forgot his name already. I'm not Todd. It's Larry. Crap, this place is like a maze. My dad's old lighter, I always thought it looked so cool. I don't know why I still carry it around. I hardly ever use it. Cause it's just like having a part of him with me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh fuck. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is, this is cooked. This might be cooked product. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Oh my God. Oh, it's so fucking cooked. Oh my God. I hate mazes. Mazes are cringe. Okay. Damn, there's three different bro. Can I cheat here too? Is it possible to cheat here too? Can I just cheat? 
I don't have to do this. This doesn't have to be done. Which door did I go through the last time? What the fuck? Okay. Yo, okay. I'm cheating. Fuck all that. That is way too much. Yo. Yo, I'm getting fucking... Okay, I need to go back to the entrance. Give me back to the entrance. Give me back to the entrance. I believe that, okay, this is the entrance. Door three. Oh, I don't have the cheat. Hold on. Wait, do I? No, I have to listen. Yeah. What is this? I had to figure out how to open this stupid gate. Okay. I didn't actually cheat for that. I was just fucking around. Bang. Wait, that's two doors that are humming. I can hear that. I'm going to go through the one that's not humming. Nope, that's humming. So we're just gonna go through this one. That's humming. That's humming. So we go to the third door. That's humming. That's humming. So we go to the first door. Bang! An old book with a wooden cover. There's a solid black circle carved into the front that's made from a different type of wood. Frail green pages are covered in painted symbols. I can't make any sense of it, but it leaves a bitter taste in my mouth. Okay, another door, and it's got these five buttons. All right, let's start fucking playing around with these shits.
Wait, why? Okay, hold on. Okay, that's weird. Okay. This is a fun little puzzle that's starting to piss me off. It looks like none of these control the first one. What the fuck? Okay. I'm cheating again. I'm cheating again. I don't care. Step on switch two, step on switch three, step on switch four, step on switch three, uh-huh, step on switch four, step on switch five, four, three, two, what, four, three, Four, five, four, three, two, one, three, four, four, three, four, five, four, three, two, three, four. Three, four, five, four, my God, three, two, three, two, one, three, four, three, four, three, four. Three, four, five, four, three, four. Three, four, five, four. Three, two. Three, two, three, four, three, one. Boy, hell no! <laughs> How the fuck was I supposed to get that? How was I supposed to get that? There's no way I could have gotten that shit without without not cheating. You wanted me to just sit here and just bullshit on those buttons all night? No fuck no. I got to, I got shit to do. What? A good time. I think we have to pull these levers at the same time to open that gate. We must have walked around in a big circle. The room behind that gate is the center of this place. It's the last room. That has to be back there. Pull this bitch. Huh? An old book with a metal cover. This one has a symbol that almost looks like an hourglass. The pages are stiff and filled with a bizarre script. Looking at this and making me tear up. I can't help feeling a deep, unexplainable sadness. 
I know what goes in here. Hmm. Wait. I think this weird hex thing from Miss Packard's desk is some kind of key. Fucking hieroglyphics. Holy fuck, we're cooked. Ash got to be back here with a big mythical fucking monster. We're about to die. Oh. Ash, Ash, you bet be you better be alive or else we're going to have a fucking problem. Another book pedestal with nothing on it. Ash, where you at? Ash. Ash, hello. Don't scare me like this. There's a lot of bones down here. I'm going to need to figure out where you are. Damn. Okay. That could have broke her fall though. Ash, is she she's still breathing. Come on, help me get her up. Huh? She's awake. What, what's going on? Wh where are we? Dude, you fell down the stupid trash chute. I thought we lost you for good. I'm so glad we found you. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Just a little fuzzy. It's sore. A broken bones. Well, none of mine, at least. <laughs> and I actually wouldn't believe what we went through to find you. It's all thanks to Sally. He had one of those vision thingies, and then he found this old cellar door in the basement, and then we went down these long, creepy stairs, and then we found this crazy-ass coal to pour some shit down here, and then there were all these puzzles and traps and mazes, and Todd! Todd is holding the front gate open for us. We should go back there. Oh, this is so much to take in. I can't believe all this is right below the apartments. Thanks for coming for me. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. How is all this shit under the apartment? How does nobody think, hey, yo, we should probably like... So what are we going to do about all this? Miss Packerton has killed a lot of people and the baloney... Ugh, we can't just ignore this. Definitely not. Judging by what you guys have told me about the inner rooms of that temple about Miss Packerton's apartment, it could be possible that she's gotten herself wrapped up in the occult as well. Even though the congregation is long since dissolved, she could have stumbled upon this door just as we have. Or maybe she's the last remaining member, trying to carry out whatever their plans were on her own. I don't think she's trying to bring the red-eyed demon back, do you? Hopefully not, but we'll be prepared if she does. And we need to stop her, preferably like before that happens. I know going to the local police isn't an option. Maybe we should call the state police or the FBI or something. At least this time, our parents can't deny what's happening. They'll help us once we show them what's below this building and what Packerton has been doing. Ash is right. We should get our parents involved this time. Maybe we should just kill her. What? Miss Packerton. Maybe we should kill her. She's old, so it shouldn't be that hard. You can't just kill someone, Larry. Then we'd be no better than her. Normally, I would be against harming others, but in this case, Larry might be right. Todd, Larry, seriously? You guys? Think about all the strange, unexplainable occurrences that happen in Addison's apartments and in Knockville in general. The more I think about it, the less likely it becomes that Miss Packerton is acting alone. She must be getting some outside help. It would explain the police cover-ups of Charlie and the Holmes family murders. There's no telling how far this corruption reaches. God damn. I guess that makes sense. Sal, you were saying something similar earlier today, too. I don't know. Maybe this does fall on us to take care of. Maybe. You know, the biggest worries normal teenagers have are about petty things like being popular and having nice hair. Not us, though. We just have to worry about saving the world, I guess. That's very fair. That's actually a very fair, like, like jump. So what happened? We decided to sleep on it. It was nearly morning anyway, and everyone was beyond exhausted. And the teacher, what did you decide? Did you go to police? Didn't have to. Turns out Packington got into a car accident on the way home that same night. She and the other driver were killed on impact. Oh, that's quite convenient. You can look it up for yourself if you don't believe me. It was on the front page the next day. Beloved Knockville high, school, high teacher killed by a drunk driver. Of course, you won't find anything about the dead bodies in her apartment or how she was feeding students human flesh. It was all covered up. I see. I don't care if you don't believe me. It's the truth, and you said you would air the full story. Don't worry, Sal. It'll be aired in full. I always keep my word, and I think the people will be very interested in what you have to say. You're lying. Everyone is watching you now. You're for sure lying. You spoke with a great fondness of your friend, Ashley. I understand that you two were very close. Even consider her one of your best friends, along with Larry Johnson and Tom Morrison. Is that true? Yes. Have you seen this? The Sally Face Killer trial today. 
Some say sources say that the prosecutor will call Ashley Campbell to testify against the Sally Face killer. Damn. Campbell's a longtime friend of Sally Face, and they were said to be close during the high school years. Fuck. I uh, I don't know, man. I can't. Uh. What about Todd? You said you'd tell me about Todd. All right, of course. We shot a segment on Morrison yesterday. He's still in the hospital after what happened that night. He's still out of it, unresponsive, still not talking, so we couldn't have a conversation with him. We mostly spoke with his doctor. I'm sorry, Sal. Apparently, Morrison sh hasn't shown any signs of improvement. In fact, his condition has been getting worse. They say that the damage he suffered that night is irreversible. He has no fantasy from reality, and all he wants is to die. When he's denied the release of death, he becomes extremely violent. I need to help him. Somehow, I need to help him. Even the doctors and trained professionals haven't been able to help Todd. How do you suppose that you'll be able to? Because I know the truth. I know what really happened. I know what's wrong with Todd. Why did you just try to jump scare me? Why did this game just try to jump scare me? What the fuck was the point of that? Why did you do that? Why did you just try to jump scare me? Why did you just do that? No, I hate this game. Why did this game just try to jump scare me? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? already what is happening what am I playing yo who are you I am Lord Beezebub oh really so you're like the devil or something no it is a nickname it's bowed upon me bestowed upon me by my kin family can be rough indeed can I get into that door You've only just arrived. No, you may not pass through my doorway. You must first admire my art. Your art? Yes. In the dark, there are five. The fifth you mustn't see. Of the remaining four arts, you must gaze upon three. Once you have done so, report back to me. All right, whatever you say, Edgar. It's Beezlebub. Lord Beezlebub. Okay, bubs. In the dark, there are five. The fifth you mustn't see. Of the remaining four arts, you must gaze upon three. This is nasty work. Why are we? What? There was a knock at the door and I could see again. I was me again. Suddenly he forced my hand and this freedom was revealed to be only an illusion. I was forced to watch everything, a prisoner in my own mind. I've done terrible things, unforgivable things. Okay, I'm not supposed to be here. I'm out of here. GG. I was broken before you found me, scattered and lost, then he looked upon my face and saw all of me at once. After being discarded by everyone else, after years of not being seen or heard, he saw me and we were in love. And everything was perfect. Until it all fell apart again. Now there's only pain. What the fuck is this? What have we done to deserve such agony? They were determined to devour us all, nothing could stop them. 
The burning lights of the gods have faded. Their watchful eyes turned to horrified screams, and then everything was black. Dog. What? This isn't nightmare fuel. This is the nightmare. Like, this is some shit that pops up in my dreams for real. What? Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. What's in three? to four so it should be in D lightning bolt right See, I know what these symbols are, but okay. I've never seen this symbol before. I'm cheating. I don't care. I've never seen this symbol, any of these symbols before. Why the fuck is that the lock when none of those symbols are on the door? What the fuck is that? Her soul was corrupted by the dark, by hunger, by isolation. She suffered greatly. Through our union, we have saved her. We are the endless echoes within oblivion. We are all that is, was, and wherever will be. And will ever be. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. I've, I can't go through five, so, so. They're filled with regret and sorrow. Their sins, they are in a lot of pain. They are heartbroken. They've lost touch with reality. At the, once you go through that door, there's no going back. Thank you. You're welcome. See you, bubs. Bro just disappeared. Bro was just like, yeah, I'm gonna get up out of here. Is there a way to go back? Listening? Is anyone there? Please, I need help. Can't remember who I am. It's so dark here. I remember a blinding light, then a burning pain washed over me. And I was here. I can't shake this feeling of loss and despair. Am I dead?
same woman again? Yeah. Okay, so these I don't need to... Oh! Hey! Oh shit, hold on! My boy tall now! Where's my cell phone? Holy shit, look at my boy hair! My boy got... My boy got full on hair. Yeah, we save right here. This is this is this is exactly where we end. I fuck with that. I fuck with that. When did this game turn into a fucking horror game, though?